and welcome. In this video, we will look at our first option strategy, the long straddle. A long straddle is a trade that combines two options on the same stock, a long call and a long put, both with the same strike price and time of expiration. When placing a straddle trade, usually the trader will choose an option strike price that is at the money or close to at the money. In other words, a trader usually chooses a strike price for the straddle that is as close to the current price of the stock as possible. The long straddle trade is taken when the trader feels that the price of the stock will make a significant move in price before the options expire, but the trader is unsure of which direction the price will move. The goal is that the price of the underlying stock moves enough in one direction that the profit for one option exceeds the loss from the other option, resulting in a net profit on the trade. Let's look at an example using SLV, the silver ETF. At the time of making this video, SLV is currently $20.65 per share. Let's look at a long straddle trade using a $20.50 strike price for the put and call options that expire in about a month. At the time of making this video, the 2050 call option costs 79 cents up front and the 2050 put option costs 65 cents up front. For a long straddle, the trader buys both the 2050 call option and the 2050 put option for a total cost of $1.44 up front. This means that for the trade to be profitable, the price of SOV must move more than $1.44 either above or below 2050 before the options expire in about a month. This places the break even points at 1906 and 2194. So for the trade to be profitable, the price of SLV has to move either below 1906 or above 2194 before the options expire. Let's compare placing a straddle to just buying the call option or the put option. If the trader buys just a call option, he is paying 79 cents a share up front for a strike price of 2050. This means that for this trade to be profitable, the price of SLV has to rise not just above 2050 but above 2129 to cover the cost of the option. If the price does not rise above 2129, then the trade loses money. If the trader buys just a put option, he is paying 65 cents a share up front for a strike price of 2050. This means that for this trade to be profitable, the price of SLV has to fall not just below 2050, but below 1985 to cover the cost of the option. If the price does not drop below 1985, then the trade loses money. If the trader places the straddle trade, he is paying $1.44 a share up front for the strike prices of $20.50. This means for this trade to be profitable, the price of SLV has to either rise above $21.94 or drop below $19.06. Comparing the straddle to just buying the call. The call costs less up front and the price of SLV doesn't have to move as high for the trade to be profitable. However, the straddle may also be profitable if the price of SLV declines, yet the call can only be profitable if the price of SLV increases. Comparing the straddle to just buying the put, the put costs less up front and the price of SLV doesn't have to drop down as much for the trade to be profitable. However, the straddle may also be profitable if the price of SLV increases, yet the put can only be profitable if the price of SLV decreases. Straddles are usually placed when a trader feels that the price of the underlying stock is about to make a significant move, but they are unsure of whether the move will be up or down. Sometimes traders will place straddle trades in the days leading up to an earnings report or economics announcement, hoping the results of the report or announcement causes the price of the underlying stock to move significantly in one direction. However, it is important to remember that during these times, implied volatility increases. This causes an increase in the cost to buy the options, meaning that for the trade to be profitable, the price of the underlying stock must make a greater move in either direction. So that's the long straddle trade. In the next video, we will look at the long strangle trade. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hello and welcome. In this video, we will continue our discussion on the long option straddle by looking at a couple of more examples using Citibank and Dow Chemical. 
You may remember from my last video, a long straddle is a trade that combines two options, a long call and a long put, both with the same strike price and time of expiration. The goal of a straddle is that the price of the underlying stock moves enough in one direction that the profit from one option exceeds the loss of the other option resulting in a profit on the trade. Let's look at an example of a straddle one could place on Citibank and an example of a straddle one could place on Dow Chemical using options that expire at about six weeks. At the time of making this video, both stocks are close to the same price. The current price of Citibank is 49.42. A trader could place a straddle by buying both the 49.50 call option for $1.28 per share and the 49.50 put option for $1 per share for a total cost of $2.28 a share up front. This means that, for the trade to be profitable, the price of Citi has to either rise more than 228 over the 4950 strike price, or the price of Citi has to drop more than 228 below the 4950 strike price. In other words, for the trade to be profitable, the price of Citi has to either rise over 5178 or drop below 4722 before the options expire in about six weeks. If the price of Citi rises over 5178, the profit on the trade is the current price of the stock of over 5178 minus the 4950 strike price minus the 228 cost of the options. If the price of city drops below 4722, the profit on the trade is the 4950 strike price minus the current price of the stock of less than 4722 minus the 228 cost of the options. If the price of city does not rise over 5178 or drop below 4722, the trade loses money. Now looking at Dow Chemical, the current price of Dow Chemical is $49.91. A trader could place a straddle by buying both the $50 call option for $1.73 per share and the $50 put option for $1.28 per share for a total cost of $3.01 per share up front. This means that for the trade to be profitable, the price of Dow has to either rise more than $3.01 over the $50 strike price or the price of Dow has to drop more than $3.01 below the $50 strike price. In other words, for the trade to be profitable, the price of Dow either has to rise over $53.01 or drop below $46.99 before the options expire in about six weeks. If the price of Dow rises over $53.01, the profit on the trade is the current price of the stock of over $53.01 minus the $50 strike price minus the $3.01 cost of the options. If the price of Dow drops below $46.99, the profit on the trade is the $50 strike price minus the current price of the stock of less than $46.99 minus the $3.01 cost of the options. However, if the price of Dow does not rise over $53.01 or drop below $46.99, the trade loses money. So that's looking at two more examples of the straddle on Citibank and Dow Chemical. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hello and welcome. In this video, we will look at the long strangle trade. A long strangle is similar to a long straddle. You may remember from my video on straddles that a long straddle is a trade that combines two options on the same stock, a long call and a long put, both with the same strike price and time of expiration. Like the straddle, a long strangle is a trade that combines two options on the same stock, a long call and a long put, both with the same time of expiration. However, for a straddle, the trader buys options that are at the money, and with a strangle, the trader buys two options that are out of the money. Like a long straddle, the long strangle trade is placed when the trader feels that the price of the stock will make a significant move in price before the options expire, but the trader is unsure of which direction the price will move. The goal is that the price of the underlying stock moves enough in one direction that the profit from one option exceeds the loss on the other option, resulting in a net profit on the trade. Comparing the long strangle to the long straddle. A long straddle involves buying two options that are at the money. In other words, the trader buys both a call option and a put option with strike prices that are as close to the current price of the stock as possible. A long strangle involves buying two options that are out of the money. In other words, the trader buys a call option with a strike price that is above the current price of the stock and a put option with a strike price that is below the current price of the stock. A long strangle costs less up front. Buying out of the money options costs less than options that are at the money. 
In other words, it costs less to place a long strangle trade than it does to place a long straddle trade. However, the price of the underlying stock has to move more for the long strangle trade to be profitable. So the lower cost is directly offset by a lower probability of the trade being profitable. Let's look at an example of two choices of a long strangle a trader could place on SLV, the silver ETF. At the time of making this video, SLV is currently priced at 20.65 per share. A trader could place a strangle by buying a call option with a $21 strike for 58 cents and buying a put option with a $20 strike for 40 cents for a total cost of 98 cents a share up front. These options are only slightly out of the money. Both options cost 98 cents up front total, so for the trade to be profitable, the price of SOV either has to rise more than 98 cents over the $21 call strike or the price of SLV has to drop more than 98 cents below the $20 put strike. In other words, for the trade to make money, the price of SLV either has to rise over 21.98 or fall below 19.02. Another choice would be for the trader to buy options that are further out of the money. The trader could choose to place a strangle by buying a call option with a 21.50 strike for 40 cents and buying a put option with a 19.50 strike for 27 cents for a total cost of 67 cents a share up front. Both options cost 67 cents up front total. So for the trade to be profitable, the price of SOV either has to rise more than 67 cents over the 21.50 call strike, or the price of SOV has to drop more than 67 cents below the 19.50 put strike. In other words, for the trade to make money, the price of SOV has to either rise over 22.17 or fall below 18.93. Comparing the two examples for a strangle, if the trader buys the 21 call and the $20 put, the total cost is higher at 98 cents, but the price of SLV does not have to make as much of a move for the trade to be profitable, so there's a higher probability that the trade will make money. If the trader buys the 2150 call and the 1950 put, the total cost is lower at 67 cents, so this strangle costs about one third less up front than the other example but the price of SLV has to move more for the trade to be profitable, meaning that there is less probability that the trade will make money. Furthermore, as one chooses options for a strangle that are further out of the money, the total cost up front, in other words the total amount risked, decreases. However, the amount that the underlying stock has to move increases, so the lower cost is offset by a lower probability of the trade being profitable. So that is the long strangle. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.